disappointing finish in spite of your outstanding individual performance. We'll talk about that in a moment, but let's go back to that last drive. Uh, what were you trying to accomplish there when Zach got intercepted? See, we had we had a play call just to get to the sticks. Uh, two minute drill. We know we got to get we got to get in and out. And we we got to make sure that we get out of bounds. It's a time crunch. And that the biggest thing is to not turn the ball over. And the biggest thing for our quarterback is not getting any sacks. We don't blame Zach at all. He tried making a throw. He tried giving Matt a chance. Otherwise, that uh, we just we got to finish. So that's the biggest thing. Offensively, in the second half, you guys scored and outscored Hawaii uh, for a while there. What was the key, I guess, or lack thereof, to trying to get a few more scores and a few opportunities? Uh, we just tried to stay aggressive. That was the biggest thing. And uh, making sure that we're not, we're not being consistent about any of the drives and making sure that we're able to extend drives so we can keep the defense off the field. We knew that our defense had a hard time getting off the field, so we tried to help them out by getting them off the field and by being aggressive. And so I feel like it worked out, but in the end, we just got to finish and come through. Let's rewind to that third and two with just over two minutes to play. What was the play call when Zach tried to hit Micah Simon on the uh, little out there? Hawaii had a good call. We had a man beater, and they it looked like they checked out of man, so things didn't work out. Uh, Zach just had to get rid of the ball, so Hawaii just made a good play. They made, made, they made a good audible, so good props to them. Did you feel like Zach Wilson was in the end zone when he dove over before the ball came out? Uh, it's kind of hard to see from camera angle. It's obviously the jumbotron, everything looks good. Um, we would, we'd love to have that one back, but otherwise, that we have to bounce back. From that point, we still had nine minutes left in the, in the fourth quarter, and we still had plenty of time to put the game away, but we couldn't finish. Uh, as I mentioned, individually, you had a great game. You, uh, you made my pick look good, by the way, this morning. Specifically yeah. on uh, uh, your punt return, what, what was working well for you in the special teams area? Oh, that's all credit to, to the 10 guys in front of me. They were, they were holding all the blocks. I had all the time in the world. All I had to do was run around people. They are they're, they're blocking their butts off. They are making sure that I can get to the, my destination, really. It's unfortunate that I, I slipped up on the third yard line, but that's all props to the, to the 10 guys in front of me. How would you summarize your feelings about this season? It's been good. We had some ups and downs, but I'll never change it. The senior group that I played with and the guys that I was with for the last four or five years, I wouldn't change the group of guys that I was with. We, we made a lot of progress, met a lot of, made a lot of relationships, and that's the biggest thing is I'm going to know these guys forever. I'm going to be able to hit these guys up in 10 years from now, and, and we're going to be able to kick it, and that's the biggest lesson I learned from this season. What is it about the senior group that makes them so special and stick apart and make, make them essentially special to you? Since, since the last four or five years, we've been through a couple coaching staff changes, position changes, and the biggest thing for us was that we finished. Uh, a couple of us graduated, a couple of us didn't, but the biggest thing is that we're all close in the end. And I, I can honestly say that I'll, I'll hit these guys up in the future. And in, any, of it, any of their endeavors and what they plan on doing, I know that I can call them up anytime where, wherever they are. I love it. We really appreciate the time. Congratulations on a fantastic BYU career. Uh, obviously a tough game, but uh, thanks for coming to talk thanks, to us. It's, it's been nice knowing you guys. I definitely will always be around. And always good to know good guys like you. So thank you guys. You got it. So, thanks, thanks, brother. Lava Hifo a moment ago.